Hello, my gorgeous Aries. This is Devs, and this is your reading for September 2022. Hope everything is good in your world and you're happy, healthy, and safe, Aries. Now, in meditation, I saw a woman looking at someone on a profile picture. Now, guys, this could be social media, not necessarily a dating site, okay? And what she was saying to herself was, hell no, oh my God, they look like my ex. No, no, no. So Aries, I'm, I'm feeling that the next person that you go out with is going to be looking at least totally different than your previous person. OK, so if, you know, Aries, your person was very dark um, it could be that you're going for someone blonde. It could be if this is someone with sort of ragged hair, a bit sort of Tarzan-ish, you may be going for somebody who's bald. I don't know what this is, but there's definitely a complete change, Aries. It's almost as if, I've got to be honest, guys, you may have gone through such a difficult time with whoever your ex was that you don't even want to be reminded by going out with somebody who may have similar looks, all right? Now, it could be in terms of personality. If your person was the quiet type, very studious, very serious, okay, you're going for somebody who is quite fun, quite outgoing, really social, somebody who has a great sense of humor. You're gonna be going for a different type, okay? Very, very strong energy. All right, guys. All right, my beautiful guys, let's get into this and see what comes through, Aries. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries. This is September 2022. September 2022. What is on Aries' mind? What is going to be happening for my Aries, please, Michael? Thank you. I'm hearing Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Azriel, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Michael. Right. Got to take that one. Knight of Cups. So, Aries, are you going to be pursued romantically by a younger water sign? Possibly. Are you moving forward with love in your heart? Michael's saying cups. Mm, Arnold's in the corner. He's saying to me, time waits for no man. <laughs> He's telling me not to be rude. He's saying I'm being sarcastic. Okay. Sorry, Arnold. All right, people. Are we ready? Here we go. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, after a period of time, Aries, of you thinking, I don't want to meet anyone, I'm still getting over my ex, I had a nightmare, maybe I should be single, you're realising that you do want love, Aries. Four of Cups. Aries, I'm feeling as if after a period of time, maybe getting over an ex, maybe doing a lot of healing, this is you thinking to yourself, you know what, I don't want to be single. I want to move forward. I want to meet somebody else. I want to have love in my life. You've decided maybe after holding people at arm's length, and I think it's because you went through something difficult, you have decided you want love. With a chariot in the reverse, you may have let go of a Cancerian. You may be in a situation where you've just relocated to a new place, it could be all tied in with the fact that you wanted to leave the past behind. So, you know, if you got divorced, you probably moved out of the area that you were living in with that person. Um, there's a sense of, I know I've been keeping myself stuck and I do want to move forward. You've made a decision, Aries, to not stay. I'm hearing stuck in sadness from the past. All right. In the past, justice. Wow. Now, for some of you, you connected with a Libra. For others of you, you may have gone through a court case. It may relate to the dissolving of a connection. This is literally a legal situation. But whatever this was, it brought balance into your life. I'm hearing finally. Finally. In the immediate past, Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. 
So what I'm getting here, Aries, is that I think you left someone, you went through a court case, you had to get yourself balanced out, and you said to that person, I never want to hear from you again. I'm sorry, guys, that's what I'm hearing. Queen of Swords in Reverse is a very harsh cutoff. That is, I'm angry, I'm upset, don't ever contact me again, okay? So Aries, this is you. You went through a really difficult time. And I think you've been spending time healing, even wondering, Aries, if you actually really want another relationship. I think you do. I think you do. In your thoughts, you're wondering who may be right for you. Seven of Cups. So you may be looking online, connecting with new people. You may think, well, the world's my oyster. You know, there's plenty of time. People are out there. Hmm. Looking at what's going to make you happy, Aries. In the immediate future, whoa, 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 look at you, Aries, three of cups. Now that's going out, that's celebrating, that is you deciding to push away this queen of swords, angry, hurt, upset energy and shift forward, releasing that. Ah, I want to meet somebody new, right? Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Aries, with the eight of swords in the reverse in your fears... It's a strange energy because it's almost as if you've been feeling comfortable being isolated. You've been feeling you're all safe, tucked up in your home. I don't know if I really want to go out. I'm just going to sit here and remember the past. I'm hearing better times and better men. OK, I think that's a line from a film. Is it Ladies in Lavender? Gosh, that's a long time ago. Uh, better times and better men. That, whatever age you are. Yeah, you may have almost reveled in the healing stage. You know, if you had friends that said to you, come out, for goodness sake, Aries, you know, that was, that was six months ago. This is you saying, no, I don't, I'm not feeling like it. I shall just stay home. I think you're snapping out of it. I think you're realising, OK, well, done being a bit sorry for myself, done with feeling angry about the past. I actually want to meet people. But you're fearing breaking out of this cocoon that you sort of placed around yourself. You are a bit nervous. Now, in the environment. Wow. Aries, we've got hermit energy. Now, you could simply be connecting with a Virgo. You could be realising this person feels a bit on their own, a bit isolated. They may feel a bit lonely. And it could be a perfect situation, Aries. Now, if not, you may, for some of you, be meeting someone who has either lost their partner through illness or they've just deceased. OK, so you could be meeting a widower. Don't know why I'm feeling that. I'm looking at that card and I'm hearing widower. It could be that this is someone who also has felt comfortable just being home, not going out, not being social. I'm OK here. I don't really want to meet new people. Both of you are coming to the same conclusion that neither of you want to be by yourselves. And you're both making a concerted effort to change your situations. Nice, nice. What you're hoping for is with the judgment card in the reverse, your ex does not come back. Yeah, really hope the divine doesn't give me kind of a second chance with my ex. Really not interested is what I'm hearing. And I'm not surprised. Because whatever this was, this was really, really difficult for you. This is really heavy energy for you. I mean, the justice card and the queen of souls in reverse, that is a very difficult cutoff. It may also be areas that you're hoping simply not to make a bad judgment call. Yeah. All right, guys. The outcome, six of wands. Head held high, moving forward. If there's any little bit of, if there's a tinge of sadness about the past that you're still sort of trying to push down, you're going to do a very good job in hiding that, which is fine. Some people get over relationships relatively quickly. Other people can, it can take years. But you're on the move. You're looking to the future. You're no longer sitting in this energy. 
And I think it will be a relief when you meet this person who's coming in with a Knight of Cups. Someone very charming, someone romantic, someone who does have an open heart. Take it with a relative pinch of salt because this isn't someone offering commitment. This can be somebody who's very good at romance, Aries. But I don't know, I've got a good feeling about this. I've got a good feeling about this. So, clarification. Yeah, ten of wands in reverse. You dropped a very difficult burden relating to a past situation that did not make you happy. With the Queen of Cups, Aries, a feminine energy, you're moving forward with love in your heart. You're wanting to meet someone new. Wow, Aries. So an Ace of Pentacles is in the environment. Very close to this Hermit card. You may be deciding to move forward with someone. Yeah. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, you want long-term commitment, Aries. You want long-term commitment. All right, under the deck, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So Aries, you left a very unfulfilling situation. Okay, you let it go. You moved out of being a committed partner. And with the energy of the sun, you want to be happy. You want to expand. You want to grow. You become enlightened that there is life after this person. Knight of Cups, beautiful. So Aries, we've got strong Virgo energy. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got Leo and we've got Sag. Hmm, interesting reading people. Okay, I think this is looking really, really good, Aries. Really good. Let's jump in. So we start with the Four of Cups in the reverse. After thinking to yourself, Aries, I don't know if I want love. I don't know. Ah, I could have love in my life. I'm not sure I really want love. I don't know. You've decided that you do. With the energy of the chariot, you've been looking back at the past, feeling a bit stuck, feeling a bit stressed. Ah, do I really let the past situation go? Yeah, I think I should. It was very difficult. It was painful. You could have ended things with a Cancerian. You want love. You've decided. You could, for some of you, have moved. This is relocation. This is you finally deciding to let the past go. Finally deciding. In the past, with a justice card, you could have connected to a Libra or have Libra in your chart. This is you getting yourself balanced, but you may have got yourself balanced by going through a legal situation. For some of you, this is divorce getting child support, moving out of living with someone. After that time, with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, I think you had to tell someone that you really did not want to connect with them again. It could be that somebody was trying to hang on to you, Aries. It could be that this is somebody who lied to you or cheated on you because you seem to be incredibly angry in the immediate past. So whoever you were connecting with, I think you made your feelings very, very clear. What you're thinking about is Seven of Cups. Beautiful energy. This is you thinking, I could meet someone new. I mean, I keep hearing, I don't want them to look anything like my ex. Okay. Seven of Cups. So you're reviewing what's going to make you happy, Aries. Okay. Am I looking for a peaceful relationship? Maybe the last connection you guys were arguing the whole time. Am I looking for something intellectual, somebody who can give me a really good conversation, somebody I'll never get bored of talking to? Maybe previously you went for looks, but you may have felt that you two weren't really on the same page. They didn't have a lot to say, or you felt you two had different interests, something like that. Are you looking for a spiritual connection to feel that soul bond? Are you looking for something that's going to grow and develop into a very serious relationship? Or are you looking for someone that you're just simply wildly attracted to? You have options, Aries, and you know it. You know it. You're thinking, what is the type of person that I really want to move towards now? You're thinking about it. Who is going to be right for me? What am I looking for? And here we have you going out and having some fun. Michael, when have you got the Three of Cups in the immediate future? Mm, okay, 5th of October, all right, okay. 
to the 11th of November. I'm seeing 11-11 in my head, 11th of November. Okay. Aries, there could be someone coming in that for some of you may well be a divine twin connection, or you could be meeting your divine twin, I should say. You only have one twin in your lifetime. Many people don't reunite in the 3D. I don't know. I'm hearing the 11th of November, 11-11. Whatever this is, between those dates, you are out meeting people. Three of Cups. Now, for some of you, you may be considering catching up with somebody you knew in the past. This can also be reunion. But I don't think you were seriously involved with this person in the past. It may be just that they crossed your mind. You may be trying to figure out if they're still single. Three of Cups. You're going out there. You're celebrating. Or you're simply realising that you want to get out of this challenging, heavy energy. I want to be sat in the Queen of Swords in reverse energy much longer Oh, I'm just so bored of that energy. I want to go out and have some fun. I want to meet some new people. So this is what you're doing. Very exciting. In the environment is the hermit. This is someone, Aries, who feels a little bit on their own. They may have ended a relationship too. They may have had a tendency of holding themselves up a great deal not going out, not really wanting to be social, preferring the safety of being at home. But they're realising that they're feeling a bit lonely. They're a bit on their own. And this is someone who's open to, I'm hearing a few dates, simply that, open to a few dates. Very nice. You could be connecting the future with a Virgo, simple. What you're hoping for is that whoever you move towards, it's not going to be a bad judgment call. OK, you're also hoping, Aries, with judgment in the reverse, that the divine isn't going to say to you, OK, we're bringing your ex back, Aries. We think you guys need another shot. You are really hoping because this can be a second chance that that's not going to happen, because I think, Aries, it will push you back into this queen of swords in reverse and you really don't want to sit in that energy any longer. OK. Finally. Six of Wands, victory and success, moving forwards, flags are flying, people are cheering, you're looking very good, Aries. Um, there may be a little bit of mask wearing. You could still think about the past now and again, think about what happened. If that is the case, you're keeping it to yourself, you're doing a good job in covering it up. I mean, it's kind of fake it till you make it type of energy, right? You know, if I push this feeling down, if I force myself not to think about the past, if I cover up the fact that I'm feeling a bit nostalgic, eventually I will not be feeling nostalgic anymore. The feeling will pass. That's your hope. Clarification on the right. With the Ten of Wands in the reverse, I think this is you letting go of a situation. You're looking to the future. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If this is you, Aries, you are holding your head high and you're ready for love again. Underneath that, Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be, Aries, that rather shockingly, if you start dating someone, you could realise that very quickly this could be your person. Ace of Pentacles is you thinking about an opportunity for love and the Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment with a lot of stability. That is beautiful. Wow. Now, for some of you, you're thinking about new love, you're opening up your heart, and with the Ten of Pentacles, you could be buying a new house, you could be releasing equity to clear some debt, you could be, if you're divorced, putting that divorce money into a saving scheme. It could be that you're dealing with a will, inheritance, or settlement of some kind, whilst you consider moving forward into a new love relationship. It'll be different for all of you, but you're definitely concentrating on your finances. Knight of Cups is the card that jumped out of the deck. So I think either this is you or this is someone coming in that you're going to be very interested in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, you're ready for love because you, I feel this is you, you've moved out of a very unfulfilling situation. You are no longer a missus or a live-in partner. You are now single. The sun. 
Leo energy, you're looking forward to moving in a new cycle, into a new cycle, a new direction, Aries. You're wanting happiness, you're wanting to expand, you're wanting just to progress in your life. I'm feeling that whatever happened in the past, it was a stagnant energy and you just couldn't deal with it anymore. You just couldn't deal with it. All right. Archangel Michael, what is the Four of Cups in the reverse crossed with the Chariot in the reverse? You want new love. You've decided this is what you want. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So Aries, you've ended a long-term situation. You may not have had a choice. You may have made the decision yourself. You've ended a situation that was not progressing. What is Aries thinking about? What is Aries thinking about? <laughs> Aries, I love you guys. You're free. You're getting excited about the new. You're optimistic about the future. Beautiful energy. That's your card of Aries. All right. What is Aries looking for? What is Aries looking for? Okay, that card flipped out. Five of Swords in the reverse. You don't want to be dealing with anyone selfish, self-orientated, too demanding, too my way or the highway. You are looking for a very relaxed relationship, somebody with calm energy, somebody that is reliable, somebody who I'm hearing knows how to have some fun. Okay. Maybe you didn't have a lot of fun in your relationship. Yeah, that one. Eight of Wands. So for some of you, you have relocated or you are relocating, you're moving. You may also be messaging people online. Let's see who is out there. And again, it's not necessarily a dating site, Aries. This could be you connecting with people on social media somehow, you know? Hmm. What happened with justice in the past? Yeah. So with the Seven of Wands in reverse, Aries, you simply gave up on a situation because I'm just feeling a bit, oh, it's so stressful dealing with this. People getting at you, arguments, disagreements, pressure. You had enough. You let it go. You let it go. Yeah, Aries, you were not happy. Yeah, not happy. Queen of Wands in reverse. You just felt that it was too stressful dealing with whatever this was. It made you unbalanced. It made you upset. It made you angry. You were not sitting in a calm energy, Aries. You weren't enjoying this connection, whatever this was. All right, let's have a look at the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Ooh, Aries, King of Swords in the reverse, a very harsh energy. King and Queen of Swords could have been the person that you left. They could have lied to you, they could have ghosted you, they could have treated you badly, they could have manipulated you. You are no longer speaking to this person. It is over and done. You could have connected Aries in the past with someone who was an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Okay, but for you, it is done and over with. All right. What is the Seven of Cups for my beautiful Aries? Very simple Aries. You've healed after a very painful ending with a Ten of Swords in a reverse. And you're looking for love. You're looking for love. What else is on Aries' mind? You want to go out there and have some fun. <laughs> simple Aries. I mean, it can be a little bit of overindulgence. Watch the partying, watch the drinking, okay? But this is you thinking to hell with it. I'm now free, the full energy. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to date. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to connect with new people. This is a lovely, light energy, Aries. And after what you've been through, you need this. You need this. Now, what is the Three of Cups? Ace of Cups. Wow. So Aries, you may well find someone... I'm hearing end of September to the end of October, you might well connect with someone that you feel very content with, very relaxed with. You don't have to pretend to be somebody that you're not. You don't have to put on airs and graces. Okay, Aries, you can just be you. 
you're beginning to have love for someone. What else is Aries thinking about? What else is Aries thinking about? Yeah, you've made your choice. With the Two of Wands, you may have pinpointed two particular people that you're interested in at this point of time. You are making a decision to move towards someone that you feel it would simply work with. What is Aries thinking about? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Aries, you may simply be wanting to kick up your heels. This might actually be a relationship that develops after a friends of benefits situation. I've got to be honest. The Knight of Wands in reverse is you looking for love, holding yourself back from being intimate. You know, because the Knight of Wands in reverse can well be you simply holding back from rushing in because you're wanting actually Aries, the Ace of Cups. That's what you're looking for. OK. What is Aries thinking about? The Strength card, Leo. Are you thinking about a Leo? You've got Leo with the sun. I think you're reigning in the desire to rush towards someone. You're wanting to find out more about this person. What else is Aries thinking about? What else is Aries thinking about? What else is Aries thinking about? Don't want to come out. What else is Aries thinking about? The Hierophant. You could be connecting in the future with a Taurus or with someone you feel a deep spiritual connection to. I mean, the Hermit and the Hierophant, that's a lot of serious past life energy. I don't know, Aries. Are you meeting someone and you're immediately thinking, oh my goodness, I know that's the person I'm going to marry? Oof, I don't know. You may be wanting to search for somebody of your own religion, your own culture, for some of you, you know. What is the energy that Aries is sitting in? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, there's a touch of nostalgia. Looking back at the past, looking at how much time you invested into a connection, some of you, you're wondering if you want to ever marry again. You know, do I want to actually get married again? For others of you, you're coping with some financial loss, but if so, money is coming in. Hmm. What else is Aries thinking about? <laughs> Ace of Wands. Aries, you're fired up and passionate. Whoever you are moving towards, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, a deep spiritual connection. Three of cups. You're looking at moving forwards and just being happy, Aries. Just being happy. But you have got three aces because you've also got the ace of pentacles. Michael, who is that in the energy of the hermit? Ooh, Aries, King of Pentacles. Wow. Now, this is someone who is ready to commit. This is not a married man who wants a fling. No, 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 Aries. This is someone who is looking to the future and wanting to grow with someone. They're thinking about their financial stability. They're keeping their feet grounded. They're keeping their feet firmly on terra firma. Could be a Virgo in particular with a Hermit card. If not, Taurus, Capricorn is also very significant. They are ready Aries and you're all really fired up. You're really fired up. What is the energy of this person? What is the energy of this person? Yeah, four of swords in reverse. They've gone through a difficult time too, Aries. This is someone who has suffered from heartbreak, very stressed out. They could have been ill. They could have actually dealt with the passing of their partner. 
they want to come out of feeling in that hermit energy. Reminiscing about the past, very sad, clearing out pain, heartbreak, grief, whatever this was. They're sick of feeling like that. And you're sick of feeling stuck in the Queen of Swords in reverse energy. So you two are connecting. Tell us more about this person. Tell us more about this person. Four of Pentacles. So Aries, after being a little bit held back, I think they're going to open up to you because they are also looking at the future. What do I want for the future? How does this person feel about Aries? The moon in reverse, Cancerian energy, they're releasing the fear in getting to know you. They're also realising, Aries, that you want something that is going to expand and grow. You have a lot of excitement about this connection. I think it gives them a lot of positive energy. What is this person's situation? They've ended a relationship. Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who has moved out of living with somebody, started divorce proceedings, whatever this is. They are out of that connection, I feel. The Death card could be a Scorpio. This is someone who is wanting to transform their life. How do they feel about Aries? Temperance. Okay, Aries. This is somebody who does want to come out of feeling a bit on their own. They've ended a relationship. They are ready for a commitment. But Aries, this is a lot of romantic and sexual energy. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Three of Cups is let's go out and have fun. It could well be that with temperance, I mean, they could be a Sag, literally Sagittarius. This is someone who is still healing from the ending of a relationship. So be aware of that. OK, take it relatively slowly. And on that note, this is also someone, Aries, who doesn't want to rush into something. So there's a lot of fired up energy coming from you. And this is someone who's got their back slightly turned as if to say, whoa, 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 let's just take it easy. Let's just get to know each other. First of all, because they're still healing from the ending of a relationship. Second of all, I don't think they want to rush into a commitment anytime soon. But this is also someone who is not really just wanting passion and romance. You know, they are looking for something a little bit more stable. I mean, Aries, I think you are so excited to be out of this connection that you were stuck in in the past that you may be raring to go. It could be that you feel this person is holding you a bit at arm's length. Don't let it flatten your energy, Aries, because I do think they're interested. They just don't want to move this forward too fast too soon so it burns out. It's going to be tough, though, Aries, because there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry. What is on this person's mind? The lovers. Gemini. This is someone who does feel that soul connection with you. This is also someone wildly attracted to you. But with the Ace of Swords, they want to totally get over the past situation. Maybe you had a rough ride with a Gemini. It could be also that this is someone, Aries, who may have been lied to in the past. The Ace of Swords is somebody who wants truth and nothing but the truth, even though it's difficult. So Aries, I'm assuming that if you guys were married, you're actually divorced. If you're not divorced and you're wanting to find love whilst you're still legally married, it could be difficult. It could be difficult, okay? So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind for some of you, okay? What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Tower. <laughs> Scorpio, Aries energy. Very interesting. Now, guys, this is potentially both of you feeling a bit shell-shocked that you've met each other. Okay. 
This is, oh my goodness, I did not expect to meet someone like you that soon. Be aware also, Aries, of a need to jump in because you want to forget about the tower moment that you had in the past. They may be very tempted to move towards you quite quickly, but their overall energy is, yes, it's a shock that I'm meeting you. Oh my goodness, you could be the one, but I don't think I'm ready. And I want to know your true situation, Ace of Swords. Are you definitely completely detached from this person from the past? You know, they want to know the truth. So what is the Six of Wands for my Aries? Oh, Empress in the reverse. So Aries, I think this is you moving out of being a wife. You may need to build up your confidence because you may be wearing a false mask, maybe acting more confident than you actually feel inside. For some of you, you're not really interested in moving forward into something that serious. You may just be wanting more of a fun connection. And you may be concentrating on your career more than anything else. Ah, we'll see. Six of Cups in the reverse. Now, the fact that this card has come through Aries tells me that you are a little bit lost in reverie about the past still. You're wearing a false mask. For some of you, you're still trying to get over the ending of another situation, but I think you're doing a good job in hiding it. What is going to happen in the future for my Aries? Beautiful. The world. Connecting with people all over the world. This is you travelling to see someone. It could be this person. You're definitely wanting to move into a brand new cycle. You're so ready to look at the new. Out with the old, in with the new, Aries. Now, what have we got coming in? Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Perfect. Aries, this is someone coming in who is wanting to really work on a relationship with you. This is someone who means business. This is somebody who isn't going to rush in. If you move towards this person with a lot of fired up, passionate, romantic energy, they may hold you at arm's length a little bit. Just be aware of that. Don't take it personally, because this is someone who is still healing from the ending of a relationship themselves, and they're just nervous. They're just nervous. Okay, so take it slow. But I think this is beautiful energy, Aries. Knight of Pentacles. What is Aries thinking about? Two of Pentacles. Do I want a relationship at a distance? Do I really want this? You may be sorting out money. Money, money may be coming in. You may be juggling money. You may be making up your mind as to whether or not you do want a proper relationship. Because this is you sat in passion and romance, not necessarily commitment. But the tower may be that this is someone who does want a proper connection. And it may well be that you realise that this could move forward quite quickly. So this is you just thinking about this. Do I really want another relationship? Maybe this soon. Hmm, the star, Aquarian energy. Is this person right for me? Have I properly healed? Have they healed? You're trying to balance your masculine and feminine within you as well. What is Aries thinking about? Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. I do want to come out of feeling a bit on my own, a bit by myself. You're just doing some contemplating Aries. No bad thing. No bad thing. What else is Aries thinking about? Six of Pentacles, you could be thinking about divorce, you could be thinking about equal give and take, you could be simply balancing your money. What is Aries thinking about? Five of Wands in the reverse, you want to come out of being in your head, you don't want any arguments and disagreements, you don't want conflict with anyone, you're simply looking for a peaceful connection, Aries. Now, for some of you, Aries, if you 
if you had broken up with this past person, I mean, you know, we've got the King of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is your person. Very cold energy. You two may not be speaking at the moment. If there was a situation where you two literally left each other, moved out of the house, got on with your lives, but you didn't actually go through a divorce, this is you realising that it's going to be quite difficult to move forwards into a proper relationship with this person if you're not divorced. They may want to know the truth. Ace of Swords. If you're just separated from your person, but you're still legally married to somebody else, Aries, they may say to you, I'm not sure I really want to get involved. Just be aware of that. And if that is the case, with the energy of the star and the five of pentacles, you're realising, I have healed. I do want to come out of feeling on my own. And if I do want a relationship, I am going to have to go through divorce. Because I don't want there to be any issues in the past with somebody that I'm getting to know who's keeping pushing me away because I'm still legally connected to somebody else. You're realising now may be the time to get on with that process for some of you. How is this going to end for my Aries? Page of Pentacles. All right. So for some of you, this is you going through full-blown divorce. For others of you, this is you moving towards someone and starting regularly dating them. You know, really getting to know them. Let's see if we're on the same page. Let's see if we both want the same things. This is beautiful. For some of you, you, might be, you may be connecting with a younger Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What is on Aries' mind? What is on Aries' mind? Page of Cups. Sweet. Now, so for some of you, you're looking after your kids. For others of you, you're moving towards someone with a small representation of your feelings. I am developing feelings for you. I do want to get to know you. You're realising that you have to take it slowly with this person, Aries. They're not going to want to rush forward. Okay, what is going to happen in this connection for my beautiful Aries? Oh, Michael's telling me to turn the deck. Okay, what is going to happen in this connection for my beautiful Aries, please, Michael? Two of swords in the reverse. Very interesting. So you've accepted, Aries, that you're developing feelings for this person. You've accepted, almost as if you didn't want to see that this could be quite a serious relationship. Three of Wands. So Aries, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You could be considering actual movement, moving, relocation. Maybe moving to the area this person lives in. You're definitely turning your back on the past areas and you're embracing change. Really beautiful. Okay. So, people, shall we delve into... What do we delve into, Michael? White Rose Guidance. White Rose Guidance. Let's have a look and see what this new person would want to say to you. What would this person that Aries is moving towards, wanting to say to Aries. Okay. You are my star who outshines all others. My goodness, Aries. This is someone, Aries, who's simply going to put you on a pedestal. They see you as someone high vibe. You could be well known. You are my star. They could have compared you in the nicest sense, Aries, to other people and they realise that you're the one that they want. Now, if it's the other way around, what would Aries want to say to this person? What would Aries want to say to this person? Where do we go from here? So Aries, this is going to be a relationship that's going to take time. 
I think you two are going to work it out. I do think potentially the travel is indicated, but I think this has a very strong chance of moving into something really beautiful and quite serious. So take your time. You don't need to rush. Make sure you're on the same page, but you're heading Aries to the sun. So guys, beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Aries.